the boomer generation, my generation, all are familiar with the term the ugly American. Although I would say probably half of them have no idea why or where it came from. But this is an explanation in brief. In 1950s, late 1950s, there was a book written called The Ugly American. And it was later made into a movie starring uh, Marlon Brando as an American ambassador, State Department, assigned to Vietnam. And Brando's character proceeded to instigate and create the Vietnam War. And that in itself should explain completely why Americans abroad uh, carry that title, even though it's not deserved, it's unearned by most of the people that go as tourists. But I will say this, that I have found that Europeans in general in Asia tend to be pricks, talking down, looking down, and, you know, treating most of their hosts like, I don't know, trivial or servantile. And I found myself being, you know, quite uh, studious. Uh, I am a student of interpersonal relations. I, I kind of thrive on studying people and why people do what they do. I'm very analytical. Um, I'm into kind of psychotherapy, very psychological, and I do study a lot. I pay attention to just about everyone and everything going on around me. And I noticed that there are a lot of uh, Filipinos that look at Americans as, I don't know, kind of, uh, it's two-prong status. We're looked upon as heroes, allies, friends. Um, we kind of bail them out and they've overlooked the colonial period when we actually, the U.S. actually held the Philippines as a colony. And I would say that that should have been, you know, prickish enough, but the Filipinos are very uh, gentle people. They're, they're very forgiving and they do forget and, uh, you know, I don't, I don't mean, you know, that they're forgetful. I mean that they do put things aside. They don't hold grudges, which is really a wonderful thing. Uh, Americans should do that. You know, put their hate and their pettiness aside and move on. Life is too short. Well, anyway, in periods when I would uh, consume alcoholic beverages here, I found myself becoming the ugly American. I was mouthing off and saying shit and, you know, talking America this and America that and blah, blah, blah. And it was interesting that they would pump me, the Filipinos, the males around me would pump me with questions like, do you think the United States could take China? Do you think that the United States would protect the Philippines from China? Do you think, do you think, do you think? And I found myself, you know, telling them, yes, of course, we consider you our, our little brown brothers. Uh-oh, racist, little brown brothers. But really, it is the feeling that when you do land in the Philippines, immediately there is a bond. And I don't know if it's because of the, the fact that they're sweet people they're generous people, they're kind, benevolent people. That probably has most to do with it, but I enjoy being with the Filipinos. They are awesome people. The women are beautiful. They're very funny. They have a great sense of humor. And it is a paradise. If you can handle the heat and during the rainy season, during the wet season, it's in the 90s and it's sweltering and humid and it sucks. And the mosquitoes are, yes, crazy. And you can get malaria and dengue fever, which can be life-threatening, fatal. Um, 
So there's a lot of negatives to, to coming to the Philippines. But if you're coming for like a vacation, a holiday, do it. It is beautiful. It's phenomenal. You'll never forget it. It's awesome. But I've been here for seven years and I am an illegal alien. I do not have a visa, not a valid visa. And when they catch me, if they catch me, I will be deported. And I'm not looking forward to that at all because I don't want to screw up my wife's opportunity to get an American visa. So I have to look at this in a, in a very tactical way. I have to plan and make some adjustments and figure out how I'm going to leave the Philippines without being arrested and blacklisted. And that is very concerning to me. But again, you know, there it is. Living here illegally, ugly American. Get it?